That's what we're seeing going on right now. And simple and small. The West does need to back away from Ukraine. Uh, no, Trudeau is not the best option. There are no best options for Canada. That's the point, Alex. They're killing our country. Both sides, the conservatives and the liberals, all of them. They're killing us. Hold on, guys. I gotta get the dog in the house. so good today. Hmm? You're being so good today. <sighs> How's that Liberal Party are doing? They're playing the game of the 1% elitist, so that's what they're doing. Yeah, Jig meets a coward. He's a coward. Uh, actually, there's a lot of people who believe that we're already in the time of tribulation, Ronald. What is that smell? I smell booze, and I don't own booze. What the hell? Huh. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, uh, shit. Hold on. I uh, just ran off with the slipper. No, not every slipper is a chew toy dog. Come on. Are my neighbors home? Uh, I, she is, I think so. Um, I don't think she's left to go see him yet. We'll take generations to repay, right? What are we, tr two trillion now, Mikey? Yeah, okay, Cam, you're just a troll, you can go. No, it's not coming from the downstairs area. I see what you mean now. Uh, no, it's coming from somewhere around the, the sink. I don't know what it is, but it just kind of hit me when I walked past. Yeah, yeah, it is weird. Maybe I'm just having craving. That's, that's the gods telling me I need some wine. <laughs> What's with the trolls lately? What's with the trolls every day? <coughs> Russia is not a creative country. You know, Russia doesn't even put money, really, into their policing. You know how many murders go unsolved because they just don't bother in Russia? Like, it, it could be. Maybe somebody poured something down. I don't know. I do have to do a bunch of cleaning later, so maybe I'll uh, pour some bleach down there. Uh, yeah, they, they've already announced we're officially in a recession. They've, they've already announced that. Like, <laughs> we're fucked. We're going down, you guys. Canada's a freaking sinking ship right now. And we don't even have life jackets. We don't even have life jackets. <laughs> Joe, I I studied Russia in school. I know what I'm talking about, man. Canada is in debt, and they're still giving money to other... Yeah, they're sinking the country. They're sink We're sinking. No, they haven't...
hasn't changed as much as you think. Really doubtful, right? Right? What do you mean that they have? Joe, do you live in Russia right now, Joe? Do you live there? No, Pierre isn't our only choice. He's not our only choice. We do have another choice. <sighs> yeah, lots of jobs. It's kind of, We're about to hit rock bottom, you guys. We are about to hit rock bottom. This is going to make the whole economy collapse of 2009 look like a cakewalk. Yeah, I know you don't, Joe. It was a rhetorical question. Of course, Russia into the invasion and hasn't gone well as we hoped. Society is going exactly like the universe. 25 experience. There's going to be a massive war. Yeah, but it's not the war people think it's going to be. It's not country versus country. It's us versus them. <laughs> the Quebec guy. Oh, man. I hate to say this, but voting for French people has never worked in the favor of Canada before. I mean... Pierre Trudeau, Gretchen. It's never worked well for us. Never worked well for us. Maybe that's the trick. We need to stop voting people with French heritage or something. I don't know. Yeah, well, they voted him in for the greenery, and then now we can't get rid of him. I mean, let's face it, guys. That's the only reason why Trudeau got voted in was for the, the legal greenery. That That's it. And now we can't get rid of them. Like. That's, that's the sad truth about all this. There is no government that exists out there that isn't completely corrupted by the 1%. By the elites, there, there isn't a single one. I mean, if we're going to vote for the Black Quebec Quo, we might as well vote for the Green Party, too. I know when it comes to Russia, they don't bluff. They say they're going to do something. They're going to do it. Like. Yeah, the billionaires are running everything. I mean, we've got billionaires from other countries that don't even live here that we never voted for that most of the populace has never even heard of running our country it's like it's time people start waking up and see what's really happening here on the grander scale of everything Time to stop sniffing the Kool-Aid and start. time to start drinking some coffee, because... The 
well, you know what? Russia isn't the only one responsible for that. You guys remember how CNN had that buried post that they were interviewing people in Ukraine and it turned out that Ukraine was uh, kabooming their own people? Yeah, it is out of control everywhere. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you hit a certain level of poverty. Crime rates skyrocket. Kalani, you know what? Um, I'm just not gonna mute you anymore. I'm just gonna full on block. I know foreign interference in our government then says India is responsible for an arriving, right? Well, we don't have an alternative. That's why we need to clean out parliament. We need to clean it out and start from scratch and create a new system, a system that isn't broken and that actually works. He's always lurking. All governments are the bad guys, like literally. So, I mean, there isn't a single government uh, anywhere in the world today that isn't completely corrupted by the elites. As it was foretold, lower taxes on all classes. Brazen, I don't see you coming up with anything. Yeah. Right? Especially when India is turning around and saying they found uh, Mexican nose candy on his plane. Like, come on. Yeah, nobody's talking about how much Mexican nose candy was on that plane, right? Or a Colombian nose cup. Yeah, however you want to say it, but... Rich people need to be taxed. Yeah. No, the rich people do need to be taxed. If our... No, the thing is, if our tax money was actually used how it was supposed to be used, then we would be much better off right now. Hey. Good morning. How'd you sleep? That was good. I'm not sure. Why tax the rich? Because it's... Why should the majority of... Oh, Matt, you're just a troll, I see. Why should the majority of taxes be paid on the by the working class? Why aren't the rich... Like, why do the, the rich get all the tax breaks and the pr people who are actually working their asses off don't? Like... Yeah, it's really foggy today. Yeah, governments are all rich. Love you. Love you. And they're rich off of the backs of the working class. I'll only be out there for a bit, okay? Okay. It's really chilly. Yeah, like, the Rothschilds gotta go. They gotta go down. No, the, the rich people literally get all the tax breaks. They get all the tax breaks. Um... <sighs> But I agree, it is also wasteful government spending at the same time, too. 
like I said, people would have less of an issue paying taxes if we knew it was actually going where it was supposed to, but it's not. It's just lining pockets at this point. The rich ones that own everything. I know. That's what I was saying in my live yesterday. I mean, most people don't even know that the Rothschilds own the majority of all the central banking systems in the world. They, they control the stock markets. I mean... They literally decide who it decides who gets rich. If you have a bank account, they own you. You have a credit card, they own you. You got a mortgage, they own you. Car loans, they own you. And people don't realize this. They have no idea who they are. The gray pope Orsini. Yeah, Orsini. He's a big name that nobody even knows exists. And it's like, oh, you should probably know who, who he is. It's kind of an important uh, name out in them. But you do, have a, you do have a bank account, though, right? Yep, they own you. They own you. Got a birth certificate? They own you. Canada is not a country, you guys. It's a corporation. Anything and everything, yep. Yep, it's a corporation. Yep, yep. His exact words were, we penetrated the cabinet. Love to know how much of the conservative cabinet he's done too, because I know for a fact there's conservatives on in the WEF. Yeah. Oh yeah, it sure does. Rich is all hell. All all of those politicians are, are very, very wealthy, and they got even wealthier during Rona because they all had uh, all had stocks in big pharma. Guess who owns Big Pharma, you guys? The Rockefellers. I read an excerpt out of my history textbook yesterday about that. They took over the hospitals. They took over Big Pharma because they knew there was big money to be made in it. They tried to shut down herbologists, natural healers, all in the name of money. Pfizer salesman, yeah. We pay for their expenses. Pierre even has two shelves, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Zep guy, you you still think you're relevant? <laughs> Dewdrop, I love how you do that every time somebody says something trollish. It makes me laugh. Do you think this is new? What's new? Good year. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, it's cute.
Yeah, I, I heard that, Sasuke. What's, what's new? Political expenses, no. Never said it was. I, I, what I'm saying is we've had enough and we can't keep living this way. We can't. It, this is, we're going to end up making the dirty 30s look like a freaking cakewalk. <sighs> yeah, the worst is coming. Well, the first thing we need to do is Parliament needs an overhaul. We need to drain the slump. We need to get rid of everybody's that's in there, and then we need to sit down and make a plan on how to actually fix Canada and create a system that actually works. Get a free house from us. Yeah, yeah, I know. They get, they get a lot of perks. A lot of perks. It'll change a lot more than you think. Yeah, gotta wake up, people. And the sad part is, I, I honestly think it's too late to wake people up. They're gonna have to lose everything, and I mean everything, before they actually get out of this haze that they're living in. It is global. It's global for a reason. Because that silent government is taking over. They're, they're taking over. They snuck up on us. In the middle of the night, they snuck up on us. And now they're here. Yeah, a lot of people will, but by then it's going to be too late. By then it's going to be way too late. They snuck up on us while we were all sleeping, and now we're scrambling. Now we're scrambling. It's a beautiful thing to watch. <laughs> Uh, there's lots of people who, who didn't wake up until Rona hit user 288. Oh, I know, like, there's, I know some women... So I live in oil country, so we have what's called, you know, glorified house, oil-filled lives, right? And I know a lot of them that go out and clothes shopping, and then all of a sudden they're having to get rid of a bunch of clothes to clean out their closets. And all, a lot of these clothes still have the frickin' tags on them because they never wore them. It's because they just keep going out and buying more stuff. It's like, why are you even doing that? Consumerism is overconsumption is like a mental disorder, I swear. Corona hit like a ton of bricks, yeah. Yeah, makeup community too. Um, I see it in the artist community sometimes. They come out with a new paint line or something and people are like, oh, I gotta have it. No, no, you don't. What's wrong with the paint you're already using? 
Why, why are you going to dump the uh, paint that's five bucks for a big jar for, for a tube that's almost 90 bucks? Like, come on, you guys. I don't know if they've ever actually been a good guide if you really look at the history of the United States. Hell, look at the history of Canada. I mean, we've got history that is not to be proud of. Canada doesn't always do what the USA says, no. Pushing all the things everyone else was, right? Forty thousand each. You only show people what's popular, right? Like, um, oh, what is that? <sighs> what's that one makeup company everybody just goes ape shit for, and I can't figure it out because it's overpriced, and you can get just as good stuff from Walmart. Um, oh, we've got one in our mall. What's it called? Black and white logo sephora sephora like and you don't need that expensive ass freaking makeup what are you guys doing yeah sephora it's like what are you what are you guys doing you don't need that shit like 50 bucks for one eyeshadow palette like what are you doing what are you doing uh I went in there once and I walked my ass back out and went to Walmart. <laughs> Honestly. Saw a guy filling his truck, $245, bud. Holy crap. Nope. Nope. That's, that's just wow. Imagine paying 245 bucks per fill up. That's wow. That's, that's not right. That should not be happening. Oh, yeah, go figure, right? Go figure. If they own Sephora, go figure. And then we've got these big brand clothing companies, right? And the clothing is all, all made extremely cheap from sla child slave labor, extremely cheap. And they still have the audacity to charge upwards $203 for a pair of jeans. Come on guys, stop buying brand name shit. Stop feeding into this crap. Who's happy? Aritzia, what is that? Drugster stuff, Mona's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, food companies are the same. Um, like I found out recently, or er, um, Pepsi owns some cereal companies. I didn't know that. I was just looking at the ingredients on the back of the box and it said product of Pepsi and I'm like, what? Huh. No. Gemma, no. But yeah, you're right. A handful of companies do own pretty much everything. <laughs> Wipes her ass with her tax money, right? Yep. What do you want for lunch? Uh, I don't want anything, baby. could uh, make yourself some macaroni um maybe do one of the open boxes already and use some um 
literally only two boxes. Yeah, there's there's an open box in the cupboard that doesn't have the cheese in it. Maybe use that with the um, pasta sauce. And you can use Cheese Whiz for the cheese. <sighs> yeah, we are becoming a third world country. 100% we are. Read my message off Facebook. Hold on, guys. 13, number of evening appointments. I was talking to Chelsea. She was talking to Taylor back, where I overheard him. Apparently, Cora was pissed about it and saying it won't last. What a Wow. Wow, Shanice. Wow. I, I honestly, Shanice, I honestly can't wait to see her business go under. It, it would be well deserved. She is such a horrible person. Nothing, just... Mm, I love the way Ontario and the East are suffering. I love that this government is turning Ontario. I told you all not to vote for them. It's not the same price as in the province as the Crest Canada. Doug Ford is nothing better than JT. Yep. The group message. Hello from beautiful British Columbia. Hello from Alberta again, Soul Survivor. Welcome back. You voted the man, right? Reap what you sow. She's going to be sneaky about it. Plus, I don't know if she's worried about Tiff. She'll never work for me. I won't allow it. <laughs> What's up? We have, like, really tiny patties, like burger ones. Yeah, you can take those out and thaw them. They're, they're sa sausage patties. Mm. You if want that for supper or... Uh, no, I'm making, I think, pasta for supper tonight. Uh, um, it's not the same prices, but inflation is still happening. Fuck Trudeau. Amen. Hey, Dad, who you vote for? LOL. <laughs> Another bc -er. Julie, welcome in. No, he's he's talking about um I know not all Easterners voted him in, but there was a lot of Easterners who did. But we also had a lot of um voter fraud going on there too. Uh that's the point, Rick. We we need to drain the swamp. We need to replace them all. Any news in our dictatorship of Canada today? Nope, no new news. I think we're back, sitting back at the whole waiting game again. What a North Korean experience life there before calling Canada a dictatorship. Oh, you're one of those people, Clayton. Well, you can go. I hate people like that. And then he's got Fortnite written in his profile. What is he, 13? Come on. I hope you reflect in your choice, right, Chris? There isn't a single political party that I can support, right? Same, Julie. Same. Trudeau trash, yeah. See, everybody turns a blind eye because things are worse than in other countries. Well, you know what? If you keep turning a blind eye, it's going to be that bad in our country, too. So people need to stop with that mentality and they need to see what's what's happening, how it's happened before in history and the road that we're actually on. Like, it's bad. And if Canada falls, the West falls, then the world falls. This is literally riding on us right now. Yeah, right? It's a little bit ironic. People get their real news from TikTok. That's why they tried shutting TikTok down. As long as money is involved in politics, nothing will ever change, right? I mean, we could start off by cutting their paychecks way down, way down. We could say in order to be a leader, you cannot have investments in any type of stock. No foreign holdings. And you, you have to have been previously making under a certain threshold. 
So no more rich people uh, running the country getting richer, you know? Sure, leader wouldn't take a pay, right? Not, not a pay like that. Not a pay like that. I, I know a lot of people like me under that 30000 a year who would gladly take that job for the same $30,000 a year and do it way better, way better. Because we're not rich people who are l looking to get richer. We're actually here to change. And who knows, maybe that 30000 a year is actually going to be like the new millions. Because we... If you want a ba budget actually balanced, ask a poor person. Just for a smoke. We can balance a budget like you wouldn't believe. We, we, know, we know what it's like to live on nothing. You, know, you want to fix Canada, get a broke person to do the budget. I promise you, we'll fix it. Oh, yeah, the economic forum is deeply involved with all governments right now. They snuck in, and we, the one world government is here, you guys. It's just a matter of time before they officialize everything. 30K won't do anything nowadays, right? So you're not to comply, call boycott, exactly. Justin, put a sing-along. What kind of sing-along? Look what happened when we boycotted a bit late, right? I mean, if we can boycott, you're telling me we can boycott a bear, but we can't boycott our own leader? There's a problem there, you guys. There's a problem there. It's time to shut the country down. Hong Kong, 100%. Justin will win. You're all dumb if you think he won't immigrants. It's not about the immigrants, though. That's a distraction, uh, distraction, uh, silky boy. Um, it's foreign interference, literally. It actually doesn't have a lot to do with the immigrants that uh, people think. Put a single mother in house budget solved, right? Right, Jason? Done. Now we can all get a Timmy's and live life happy. No, immigrants can't vote. Uh, not unless they get their citizenship. It is causing a bit of a housing crisis. I'll agree with that. But, um, hey, bud, can you come grab the dog, please? I made 20 a year and almost six figures a year. I've been equally broke. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, either or. I was equally broke. Uh, down the hatch. Take care. Thanks for popping in. Did Grandma break her keychain? Shit, she broke her keychain. Uh, Pierre is a snake in the tall grass. He's just like them. Laters. Thinking of making a video to Sean. Tense on the rail track. Do it. Do it and then tag me in it because I will definitely do edit, Soul Survivor. Standing ovation in the House of Commons was, it was more than a disgrace. That was a fuck up of gigantic proportions that should have never happened in a million years. All political parties are the same. Governor ourselves, yeah, that's some of some of the ideas people have come up with. How long does it need to be thawed? I'll just do what we usually do, throw it in hot water. Shouldn't take very long at all. Um, well, and how long does it need to be on the pan? Not even a half hour. Because they're small patties. Mm -hmm. Probably 20 minutes at most. Yeah, <laughs> Larry, right? Yeah, I, I love your I love your uh, flag there, Hong Kong. I want to get one of those so bad. People think voting counts, right? What's happening? I just moved here. Run away. 
Run away, Pedro, run away. <laughs> uh, we're being taken over by a dictatorship. That's, that's what's happening. Canada's going under because I have lots of videos and I could do lives. Mm. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to actually get viewers and get people on your page and, and getting your information out there. But you know, it, it took me a bit, but I finally got going, like, don't give up. A lot of them are bots. It's too good to be true. Yeah, right. Well, I thank you for the balloons of freedom. Yeah. Put it in hot water. There's four of them. Yeah. Just put them all in hot water and we'll cook them all. Freedom balloons. He is, he is. They're get they're gearing up for him to step down. That's why everything's happening the way it's happening. Sophie leaving them. They're gearing up. And then Freeland is officially our freaking problem. Everything in the West is irrelevant, right? Right? That's why I kind of tossed out one of my ideas is splitting Canada in half and having two prime ministers... Sophie found a real man. Uh, f freeloader is way worse. See, Justin doesn't actually run a c the country. He's just a face. Freeloader po pulls most of the strings. She's a dangerous, dangerous person. Yay, freedom balloons. Freedom balloons, release the freedom balloons. <laughs> It's a distraction. Freeland is the worst. She is she is the modern day witch, you guys. Literally the wicked witch of the West. She's Klaus's little I don't know what you want to call her, but Jason, thanks for coming in to troll, kiddo. Grow up. Hello. Take care, Julie. Thanks for coming in. Vote no, right? Vote no. I really wish Pierre would visit my city because I would ask him some very, very hard questions, and if he can't answer them, I can prove right then and there Pierre is not the person people think he is. Yeah, she's really close with Soros, too. Should people be... No, this isn't Freedom Convoy, no. The convoy is come and gone. Man, you guys need to get off the convoy thing. Imagine how wealthy a new Canada would be without them. Provinces, right? The West is... If we separated, kind of divided in half, the West would be so rich. We've got all the natural resources we could ever need over here. Well, that's the thing, Brian. We need to start from scratch. We need to overhaul and we need to fix the system because the system's broke. Pelting rocks at Trudeau are the real heroes. Of course they're active because this fight isn't over, Libs. Hmm? Would this one be fine? Yeah. That'll be fine. Unless you want to... Do you just want to put them in the oven? Which one would get cooked faster? Probably the oven. Because it's cooking the whole thing at once, not just one side at a time. Oh, well, oh. yeah, wait till they thaw a bit. And then they shouldn't take long in the oven at all. Goofy convoy song. Convoy. That many people felt that way, and and really, they call it call them the minority. They are actually the majority. Uh, 
Uh, it is attainable if we can get Canada together to wake up people enough that we could actually do it. There was no financial gain at all. There was no gain. The only thing was, is Ukraine wanted to join NATO. NATO was all for it, but one of Putin's requests was they don't join NATO, and then the fight started. <sighs> but we're using them as a means to wash, quotation mark, a lot of money. Hey, I mean, user, if you want to be stuck in the hellhole that we're living in for the rest of your life and not try something, at least try to fix it, then you're part of the problem, not the solution. Rather die standing than on my knees, you guys, literally. Nice Russia invented, uh, Ukraine is not a free nation. They're not, they were never a free nation. What? Montage. Uh, M-O-N. M-O-N. T. T. Montage. A-U-G-E. A-U-G-E. Oh, yeah. If, if it happens again, I'm going. There's going to be no kids, no bouncy castles. It's going to be... Uh, then I don't know, actually. Hey, guys. Uh, quick question. How do you spell montage? Sure, only three facilities, right? Anybody know how to spell montage? That's a hard word. M-O-N-T-A-G-E. T-A-G-E. Try that one. Yeah, everybody's saying the same thing, so that's how it's spelled. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you all very much. My kid says thank you. Very much. Very much. Okay, let's go back here a bit, read some shit off. How does a hospital get destroyed in only three fatalities? Sus much? Really, that is news. When did that happen? They were perking the war machine on Putin's doorstep. What did they expect? Short of war. Right? Maybe on a day like today, Justin Trudeau is hiding because he never tells the truth. He no he doesn't he doesn't have a truthful bone in his body. <laughs> Trudeau wants to wash money. That's all he wants to do. He wants to get rich. Whenever there's a war, people get rich. Not us. But the rich definitely get richer during a uh, time of war. Playing street hockey is illegal in some places, right? It sounds like it needs to be spelled differently, though, right? That's a hard word. Oh, is that today, Beth? Uh, happy National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, you guys. Um, you know, we got to... Take some time out to think about those kids. Think about our missing sisters. <clears throat> Take some time out today to give them some thought, you guys. At school yesterday. Divide and conquer. Yeah, that's exactly what they've done to Canada. They divided and conquered to be honest. They put us against each other the more they control us. Exactly, because united we stand. If we're sitting there fighting and bickering, we're, we're, we're falling, and we are falling so hard right now. And that's why I say don't trust Pierre, because he's pulling us one way, Trudeau's pulling those guys the other way. Like, <clears throat> stop falling it. Uh, Canadian trucker Steve, you just did a disservice for all truckers of Canada. But by all means, go keep kissing Trudeau's ass. When people come together. Oh, they do. They hate it. 
shirts and other items. Nice. Nice. Shirty and Pierre, right? Why can't they curb these insane gas prices? Uh, because they want it that way. They want people going broke. They want people to not be able to afford to heat their homes, to eat, to fill up their vehicles. They, they're, they, they planned it this way. Uh, no, any trucker in the right mind would not support Justin, so the fact that he's got trucker in his name really ticks me off. A lot of truckers had to, and that's why they, they, part of why they ended up going was to fight against the mandates, because they were forced. A lot of people's hands were forced, because they were, they had, you know, I get it, I get it. We should have stood united against the mandates, and eventually we did get to that point, but, you know, it, it's 50-50, I'm on it. No, it's not the only reason why they went, but it's one of the reasons. It's specific and reveals bones because they're mass graves. Want to lose their jobs and livelihoods. Well, I literally just said that. I mean, I literally just said that. If everyone is broken, the economy is shot. Um... It's about thinning out the herd. There are more ants than grasshoppers, and they know it. Eventually, what it's going to be is there's going to be no low class anymore. There's no going to be not going to be a poverty class. It's going to be the working class and the one percent, and that's it. I read a thing on it, how they how they found them, but I can't quite remember. I'd have to pull up the article again. We the people own Canada, right? Like time to wake up. And I get get the backs or they get Yeah, I know they were trying to push that for the colleges here too. And it all ended. It all ended. Thank you. <laughs> Thank the convoy for that, you guys. What they what they did was going against human rights, literally. The mandates were human rights violations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Just pack up, move to the mountains, live off grid. No, we don't own the corporation. And we need to figure out a way to get Canada back away from, from the elitists. We really do. Enough is enough. We're slaves. We're slaves. We literally are. Yeah, me and some friends talked about that a while ago, about buying out an island, living on it. Like, fuck society. <laughs> right? It's disheartening when you're working and you get your paycheck and you see all of those taxes taken off and you know those taxes aren't actually going where they're supposed to be. It's disheartening. People wouldn't mind paying taxes if they knew it was actually doing some good and it's not. I mean, let's just take roads for, for a minor example. Let's talk about roads. You know, we probably, all of us here, live in cities with shit roads because they half-ass fix them. And then they're torn apart the following year because, you know, they were half-ass done because they go for the lowest bidder. I mean... A lot of us during the winter time don't even get our roads plowed. Why are our roads not getting plowed if we're paying taxes to get them plowed? Um, Aqua Aquachira, um, 
What is she barking at? <laughs> um, Aquatira, they own the garbage dump. And, uh, we, we saw them literally, like, we pay a recycle fee, right? But we literally saw them putting the recycles in with, with the rest of the garbage. Like, why are we paying this? Go get a sport. Bug. Stop. Uh, he's not angry. He's yelling at the dog who's barking, who's not supposed to be barking, but you leave my family out of this asshole. Gemma, actually, you know what? It's about her lunchtime if you want to feed her. Yeah, right, but they didn't. They used police brutality. They shut down bank accounts. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, it was a mess. You ran, ran them over with horses. You saw cops punching people in the face. Like it was a, it was literally a peaceful protest that had kids. I mean, they sent social services after these people. Should only take a couple more minutes. Yeah, called them racist. They called them Nazguls. They called them every last name in the book. Yep. Yeah. Now you think they could to discredit people? Uh, they called them homophobes. Like, it's like, and and the saddest part is people eat that up. They believed it. They believed it. That's that's the sad part about it. They believed it. I have family members who believed it too. Like I'm literally sitting there watching actual footage of that that old lady being dragged under the horses, and I got family members saying it didn't happen. I literally watched it happen. Like, this is how, I had to say it, this is how stupid people are. They, they can't believe something that's right in front of their face. They rather believe a lie than use their own eyes, you know? And it just, it makes me so frustrated that people would rather live in that kind of lie and than actually wake up to the cold hard truth that their government is, is hurting us. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Had that been my grandmother getting pulled under those horses, the, them cops would have been for, for a bad time. No, we don't live in a dem democratic country. Absolutely not. Right? Exactly. Hell, we've got people who are dying because they're being denied um, transplants because uh, they they won't get vaccinated because the vac the vaccine is useless. Like how how is that? Nothing about this government is okay, you guys. Nothing is okay about this government. Backs murdered. Yeah, 
Right, Tim? Right? Her drug company is making millions, yeah. We're, we're in bad shape, you guys. We're in really bad shape. Really, really, really bad shape. Yeah, I'm pushing 40, Gertie, but thanks for outing yourself as a fake profile. Yeah, I know. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Guys, guys, yeah, I'm really 15. I'm actually a 15-year-old on here talking to 50 viewers about politics. Um, I go to high school. Me and my friends, we, like, go to the mall on the weekends. And we have such a rad time, yo. Get off the canvas, dog. Oh my god, and then we were, like, doing Becky's hair the other day, and the coloring just went, like, really wonky, so instead of, like, a nice shade of pink, it turned into purple, and she was like, oh my god, my hair is purple. <laughs> Shanice, stop. <laughs> no, I'm pushing 40, you guys. I'm pushing 40. I'm not... <laughs> When they call me an American, that was terrible. I'm like, make it stop. Make it stop. That one dude literally thought I was from Georgia. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, now they're going to think I'm a 15-year-old Georgian now. They probably thought I was a Trump supporter, right? Uh, that's why I was like yesterday with Shanice. Shanice, we can stop. We can stop. Make them stop. <laughs> Broken nail. <laughs> oh, God. Becky, look at her butt. Is that so big? Ooh, I need to add more green to this. Uh, we need an overhaul of Parliament. We need to drain the swamp, get all those guys out of there, and then fix the system that is broken. That's what we need to do. I actually don't know. I don't know if they have anything planned for today, honestly. <laughs> Looks like one of those rap guys' girlfriends. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't do no. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and round thing in your face, you get sprung. Is Trudy gonna admit he invaded a yes? Uh, invited? No, probably not. He never will. Because, uh,. Trudy doesn't take um, responsibility for anything. Uh, yeah, Pierre, Pierre is going to screw us just as hard, if not worse. Um, they all need to go. They all need to go. And then we need to sit down and figure out a way to actually fix Canada as a whole, united, not... Not this separation, not this division. We need to figure out how to fix this once and for all. We can't keep doing this, you guys. We can't. We can't keep doing this. Like, why my name's so big and others are tiny? <laughs> I heard interesting theory. Freeland invited him so she could be pro Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, w I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. 
Um, we always knew she was going to take over the liberal government. We just didn't know how long we had to put up with this thing before she did. Oh, yes, there's, there's many of us, Daryl, many. Just our voices seem to get silenced a lot because people seem to think that we're, I don't know, nuts. He already refuses to denounce it and says he knows something more than Tony. <laughs> uh, that's one of the hard questions I'm going to be asking him um, is about if he gets voted, I want to ask him seriously, will he label the World Economic Forum, a terrorist organization? Will he back Canada away from the WHO? And will he throw Gates out of Canada for crimes against humanity and issue an arrest warrant for biochemical terrorism? And if he cannot answer those questions and if he gets squirrely, then we know. Then we know exactly where his allegiances lie. We need something else, we do. I use face diapers to change the oil on my truck. Well, that's, that's what I try to tell people. He denounces the World Economic Forum, but do you see him denouncing anything else? No, you don't. Like, he, he's playing the game, right? He's playing the game. You don't see him going after anything else. Just the World Economic Forum, because he knows it's a, a touchy subject for people. Like, Shanice was saying in the live yesterday, read between the lines, people. Would be right better than this fool, right? Right? Just MPs bring their own ideas. Yeah, that's an idea. Well, we need to clean house, blah. We need to clean house. They're they're all they're all corrupted. And we need to get rid of all of them. No, Jagmeet is not anybody's bet. Jag Jagmeet is a coward. He's a coward, yo. He's a joke. I have no idea what that means. They all do. Yeah, they all do. Pierre plays the right hand side and Trudeau plays the left. Divide and conquer. Have us divided. It's terrible. One thing to say we're gonna do, right? DP is just a party. That's an extension of the Liberal Party. Yep. Here is the only reasonable PM. No, he's not. Don't like Trudeau automatically P think Pierre. Oh, I know. They they think that you know it, it's wild how they're like. No, we're jumping ship to Pierre. Why? There's there's nothing trustworthy about Pierre. Like. No, our country is not just fine. Our country is far from fine. Far from fine. We are not okay. What happened in Parliament recently proves we are not okay. In any which way, shape, or form. In a perfect world, yeah, but... No, no choice. No good candidates. I think Pierre is a better choice for now. Shit is more fluent than honesty. We will, when will people realize that? Jagmeet is technically holding us hostage right now. You are correct on that.
Pyrrha is an elite. Just a goof. No, no. That was not a goof. That was a fuck up, Birdzilla. That was a fuck up. If anybody had done their due diligence, that would have never happened. That was not an accident. That was not a mistake. Since we as Canadians have never had it better, if you don't agree with the statement, hit like, yes. But then he wouldn't stand by his words, right? Right? He wouldn't. He, he had some really good points at the beginning there, and I thought, holy crap, maybe this guy will be the change. Nope, he was not any change. He just follows what the liberals tell him to do. Honestly, the motive to do that was to get the Speaker out of the House of Commons because the Speaker is corrupt. But they should have done it in a way that wasn't going to make Canada look like the fool. We're, we're more than embarrassed that happened. That That's more than embarrassment. We just lost a whole lot of credibility with the rest of the world over that. Conditioning us for the next war criminal invited to Parliament makes us more accepting, right? Inability of people have to answer simple questions. Oh, I know. That's like listening to Freeland when somebody asks her a question. Mr. Speaker. Fuck. She couldn't answer a question if her life depended on it. And she does that on purpose because... She knows that there's actually no rules or laws that will force her to answer a question. So she plays that to her advantage. That's that's why we, we have a broken system. Yeah, safe spaces bother me too. I mean, your house is a safe space. Your, your bedroom is a space, safe space, like... Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Oh, God, I can't. The new speaker is... He's he's temporary. So we'll have to see who they bring in next. But the guy who's currently in there is temporary. Dog, what are you doing? Please explain to me. What is it that you are doing? Yeah, if, if you want a safe space, go to your room. <laughs> go to your, go home. Go to your room. Go have a bubble bath. This world is not a safe space. This world is cold and brutal. Not to include litter boxes for children, right? I still can't get over that. That blew my mind. And you know, it's not kids coming up with these ideas. It's not kids coming up with these ideas. Honestly. Well, we need an overhaul of our system. We need to get everybody who's currently in Parliament out. Um, we need to come up with a system that is better, that works for all of Canada, and that isn't broken. Uh, we need people who are not going to be swayed by the 1% elitists that can't be bought out. Yeah, they're all adult ideals. Like, every time I hear stuff like this, Munchausen's by proxy pops into my head, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Kids don't want litter boxes in schools, no. We need people younger than boomers, <laughs> yeah.
No more old white guys in Parliament. Oh, we're out there. We exist. And they're the ones out there fighting every day for people's freedoms. Yeah, none of our leaders help us at all. Uh, that actually happened, Daniel, in the States. Go look it up. But, you know. Have a day. Don't come anymore straight up. To me, boomers and Gen X should be off the table. Well, there's, there's bad in all generations. All generations. Sure, don't must go like there wasn't been nobody worthwhile to take his spot. That's why we need an overhaul of our government. Young guys with very strange ideas, too. Yeah, right? Fine God. Jackson, what the fuck? Get lost. Canada's gone to shit, man. We've gone to the dogs. Uh, yeah, he is, Jimmy. He's getting ready to step down. The term conspiracy the theory was made up by the CIA. You know, it's funny how they call them conspiracy theories, but so far we're batting at almost 100% here. Not so conspiracy, are we, when everything starts happening like we said it would. Oh, go cry, Jimmy. Go cry. Go kiss Trudeau's ass and cry. Get out. Get out. Yeah, the I will agree that boomers have a hard issue with personal responsibility. Jimmy is not. I th I don't even think Jimmy is over the age of eighteen, to be honest. Or unfolding right before your eyes, right? Right? It's like. How can it be a conspiracy theory if it's actually happening? But too many people are have the same mentality they did back in World War II. It could never happen to us. Our, our politicians would never. We trust them. You know, it's it's all happening all over again. And people are blind to it. And I, I can't for the life of me understand. Well, you gotta walk with a certain amount of confidence. on the way to digital ID. Yep, here is a better option from anything else we need a Donald Trump Canada. No, because Donald Trump is playing a different type of evil. Worse than the Great Depression. We're getting there. Youth being soldiers in the event of a draft. Yeah. No, it's not just a test. This is the big one. This is the showdown. This is the ultimate showdown. The ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. As far as anyone can see. And only one will survive. I wonder who it will be. Yeah, well, we're 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 officially in a recession, so a massful slavery, right? No, I am not confident in the youth protection of our country. Absolutely not. Our youth are not protected at all, at all.
stats are numbered supplied by governments, right? That's like whenever I see these polls, online polls, it's like, who exactly did they pull? Because I've never seen this poll a day in my life. Like... They're all made up. They're all made up. Same with this whole thing that Canada was voted the second best country in the world. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> the youth protecting the country. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Yeah, it's time to get our country back. Yeah, voted by whom, though? Voted by whom? Like, don't don't trust those votes. Don't trust the surveys. Don't trust those polls. They're created by somebody who's pushing an agenda or an ideology. Doesn't make a good country. The fact that our education system is shit, our, our health care has gone down the frickin' toilet, um... We're not the second best country in the world. Whoever put that out there was making shit up. Yeah, people go missing here every day. Like... Do you think the 25 and under... Oh, no, I do not. Absolutely not. They they would they would have no idea what they were getting into. Have a blood on their hands for destroying our country. Yep, a hundred percent they are. Uh, just the states, but I have friends all over the world, Vader. Like literally all over the world. Government supplies me the bare minimum. Yeah, I know. I know, the, and even like it's not enough to live on off of. Like even. The welfare system, Alberta Works in Alberta, I can tell you right now it's not enough to live on, but you're not allowed to supplement your income to, to be able to actually live. <sighs> Alexandra, I've, I've been political for many, many years. I've done my homework. I know what's going on. Do you? Do you even have the slightest clue, Alexandra, what is going on in this country right now? What's going around worldwide right now? Do you have the slightest inclination of what's actually happening right now? I don't think you do. Oh, there goes the stupid music again. I don't know why it keeps pausing. It's really freaking annoying. It's not a conspiracy, Vader. Go do your go do the homework. Go do the math. Figure it out, Vader. Maybe grow a brain. Yeah, right? If you have any critical thinking skills at all, you can see where we're going. Yeah, right? Oh, I could just imagine we're getting to that point, though. People who say critical thinking are racist bigots. I could see it. Fake news! They're trolling together, yeah. Oh, 
only people who critically think, claim they critically think, are drug users. I, I could see it. I could see it. So our solution right now is to do an overhaul of Parliament because we have nobody in there we can trust. There is nobody in Parliament currently working for us. They're all working for the globalist agenda. That, that's it. That's all. So what we need to do is overhaul, and then we need to fix the system, and then we need to find leaders who are actually going to stand up against the 1% and the corporations and say no more. No more. That's that's what we need to do. Believe in indoctrination. Oops, I mean science. Must have meant being on the other side. Well, it's hard to see the majority as people. It's a valuable experience. <laughs> Oh, I've taken the punches and I've thrown the punches. That's part of what needs to get fixed. Private donations, um, overseas bank accounts, all of that, it needs to be stopped. People in, in leadership cannot have stocks in anything. We need to stop the corruption at its core, and the core of corruption is money. Oh, yeah, we know how to take a punch and get back up and go for a beer after. The missing teeth is potential, right? Uh, we are resilient, yep. If it wasn't for money, a lot of greed wouldn't exist. Yeah, yeah, 80s baby here. We can take them. We can dish them and we can take them. Uh, both parties want... What? Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Where, my gal? How would you trade... Snowflakes don't get anywhere in life other than by handouts. What do you mean, how would I trade? It's it's not about getting rid of money. It's about filtering, filtering out the corruption that comes with it. So, you know, you've got, let's say, somebody in Parliament right now, rich as fuck, has stocks all over the damn places, playing off with... Um, foreign enter entities like the World Economic Forum getting payouts out the asshole, like that needs to stop. So we need to make rules for party leaders, okay? You, you can't make above this certain level of money per year. You cannot have bank accounts overseas. You cannot have any stocks, you know? Hey, Golden. Make, like, stop it. Stop the corruption at its core. Make it so that if you're running the country, you don't have an outside pipeline fueling you. If, if you want a paycheck, be, being a world leader or a government leader, then earn it. They're, they're not earning their paychecks. I mean, Trudeau has given himself and his cabinet four Frickin' raises since the start of Rona. Four raises. Like... <sighs> when did people start thinking changing the world was easier than changing themselves, right? Your money goes into a managed fund until you're done being in government. There you go. People are wise to all this BS. Yep. Yep. We got we got awake and asleep. 
in in every every direction. I mean, I've already given my answer. Right now, our system is broken, and we need to fix it. I mean, even even if that means splitting Canada into two and having two prime ministers kind of working together but separate at the same time, you know. They are, they are, our kids, future generations are going to be 100% reliant on the government. A hundred percent. I mean, most people as it sits are leaving, living not paycheck to paycheck, but paycheck to one week before paycheck. Like, that's how fast their money is going. Yeah, lack of good jobs, good paying jobs that actually puts food on the table and keeps the house warm, you know? There's tons of jobs, but nobody can live off of those jobs because those tons of jobs that they talk about are minimum wage. Nobody can live off a of minimum wage. Hell, people making uh, 25 bucks an hour are still struggling to put food on the table. Like... 16 is an hour is a joke. And then they say, well, maybe they can go find better jobs. Okay, well, if they go find better jobs, guess what's going to happen? We're going to have no more fast food restaurants. We're going to have no more restaurants, period. Uh, we're not going to have grocery stores because there's going to be nobody to work those grocery stores. Say goodbye to uh, Costco. Say goodbye to Walmart. Say goodbye to... What are some other places that pay minimum wage? Canadian Tire, uh, Rona, any DIY store. Say goodbye to just about every store. Clothing companies, say goodbye to all of them. Because those are the minimum wage workers. So if you want to tell go people get better paying jobs, okay, but you know what? Our entire economy is going to shut down because there's going to be no one there to work these minimum wage jobs. So it really, really annoys me when people say they need to go find a better job. Well, then, okay, let's shut down every minimum wage job and see how we fare from that. Yeah, minimum wage, shit bosses and shit customers. Legit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Imagine coming into somebody's life and going, oh, my God. And not adding anything to the conversation, like. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, minimum wage is such a joke. It's such a joke. Honestly, minimum wage is like teenage pricing for after school jobs and shit. Minimum wage shouldn't be for adults literally trying to put a roof over their head. My very first job I worked as a teen was $5.90 an hour. And then when I was 18 and working a job for eight fifty, I thought I was making mad bank. <laughs> but that's also back then when my rent was only $800 a month, not sixteen fifty a month. It was eight hundred a month, and that was that was for a three bedroom place, same as I'm living now. I'm living in a three bedroom place now. It's sixteen fifty per month. Back then, it was uh, eight hundred bucks. <sighs> Making six dollars an hour, right? So I mean when I was 18 making that 850 I thought I was like man I thought I was pulling in bank The single mom yeah right 490 two bedroom 
Um, same if you were to buy a trailer. Tra trailers still go for cheap nowadays, but back then you, you could have bought a trailer real cheap, fixed it up nice, sold it for, you know, a good chunk of change. Uh, Pierre's a snake in the tall grass. He's waiting for his time to time to bite. I said bye. Uh, Twenty five hundred or more. Ouch. <coughs> oh man, that's brutal, Ryan. Rent locked at five hundred a month. Cabin by the lake is small, but triple if I want to move. Yeah. Brisket. We bought our house when the housing market was down. Trailers now go for what we paid for our house. Exactly right. That's trailers are going for what we used to. I mean, even our trailer, when I lived in White Court, it was only 35000 when we bought it, and it was really nice. It was on a corner lot. Like, it felt like you were permanently camping. But then I remember back when you could buy houses for that same amount, four bedroom houses, like houses paid off and still struggling, right? Uh, no, I don't support Jagmeat. Jagmeat's a coward. Coward. Here to take out the trash. Nice. Uh, y yes and no. Yes and no, Kate. Um, I think it's a flawed design. What I think we need is, is not universal income, but more like better wages without inflation. Because if you guys notice, every time minimum wa wage goes up, the cost of living goes up because they know that they can get more money out of us, right? So we need to find that balance where we're, we're making enough money, no, not enough money to survive. We're actually bringing in an income where we can live comfortably, but not get punished for it. Yeah, you see, yeah, exactly, Sask. Like, that's why I'm against it because it is it's a control thing it's being reliant on the government and i don't like that somebody in my family gonna be mad well it's not so much as capitalism it's the m monopoly that comes with it we have a very like we were talking about that earlier in the live there are a few companies that own literally everything Vote for anarchy. Yeah, digital currency is full control. When every door you open has a savage lion ready to eat you behind it, it's kind of tricky, right? Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be, though, Marco. That's the, that's the line they just fed us. Everybody can be rich. No, 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 we can't takes a strong man, right? I I can't imagine what my family is going to be like when my grandparents go. I don't I don't know if we'll be close like we used to be. Yeah, true capitalism doesn't have the mass majority monopolized. There has to be super poor. Yep. the dirty 30s young guest and Kenneth Kenneth yeah I'm a, I'm a total black sheep I'm blacker than black in my family we all pull our bank accounts as you know oh scroll up can still have a mortgage with a bank but even those mortgages are run by the 1% monopolies are a byproduct of capitalism well yeah it is a byproduct but we were supposed to have things in place to stop that from happening but that was like it was a lie it's a lie they fed us 
GDP population as rich as it can be. Left wing and right wing belong to the same bird. Exactly, Smokey. Strange for my family. I figured I missed out on 250k so far. Shit. Can pay off their mortgage in a lifetime. No. Thank you for that share, Kenneth. I hate Trudeau and the liberals. Uh, yeah. You know what? There's a lot of liberals out there who aren't far leftist, though. And they they agree with us pretty much that there, there needs to be a huge change. But the current standing liberal government is corrupt as fuck, and it needs to go. Late stage capitalism, are you strange for most of mine except for my dad? Yeah, I don't talk to any of my dad's side of the family. <laughs> the interest rates were high in the 70s. My parents were able to keep their home, yeah. Back then, you know, you had one one person out working and the other one was staying home with raising the kids and you could afford to live that way. Now we got state-raised kids because nobody can afford to stay home and raise their own damn kids. I know quite a few liberals that have been looking up to what's going on. Mm, no, well... Yeah, they're, they're center-leaning left. My grandpa has always said the oldest grandchild will get the house. My grandparents are selling off their house, which, as they should. As they should. Eventually, they'll be selling off the house, but... I think my, my brother is kind of waiting for them to sell the house because I think my brother is honestly going to buy their house. I think that's his overall goal. I think he's just wait until they get to that point where they want to downsize. She gives me anxiety. Father's side is where I miss out. I love my mom. My mama is a pillar of strength. If it weren't for my mama, I don't know where I'd be. Like, even when I was a kid, I just... Yeah, I've been homeschooling for quite a while, but kid's decision, he wants to go to high school this year, so... I can't, I can't be that overbearing. No, you cannot make that decision. Well, it's, yeah, you know, he's 14. It's honestly his decision to go. But he also knows to question a lot of things, too. And if things don't seem right to him, he tells me, he tells me everything. He even tells on his, himself, like. <laughs> so I'm not overly worried. Canada is doing fine. It's spoiled people that are in Canada that think it's not doing that. Uh, Canada is not fine. Canada is not fine. People are losing their homes, their businesses. They can't afford to feed themselves. We got lineups for the food bank going for blocks. We got other food uh, donation organizations that are backed up for upwards of four months. Our health care system is shot to shit. We have no education system anymore. How, how is Canada fine? We, we got a leader right there in the background who wants to censorship media. Uh, easy. Here, same. Let me, let me do you a favor. Oh, look, gone. Man, you guys really need to learn where that frickin' block button is. I don't know why I have to get block you guys. You're lazy. Find the block button. Do it yourself. Yeah, how is Canada fine? We are not fine. You're Not everybody's doing fine. That's the problem. Not everybody is okay. Uh, how can we blame the entirety of the healthcare system on just Ontario, on just Doug Ford? Canadians that stand up, that makes a difference. You think Canada is fine, you're clearly misinformed, or you're living in a goddamn bubble. One of the two. I'm going to give this a little bit more, and then I'm probably going to jump on my other account and do my normal live thing, just so you guys know. So, in about 14 minutes here, 14 more minutes to talk about the government. So, yeah, 
It's too expensive to live here. Even immigrants are having second thoughts. I know I've had a few immigrants in my lives going, this isn't what I signed up for. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, yeah, we tried to warn you guys, but sorry, sorry, you didn't get the memo. Uh, welcome to the club. About 30K a year, partially my choice to spend more time with my family than be a wage slave. Yeah, absolutely. Minimum wage does not pay the bills anymore, no. Nope. Won't even pay for rent in a bachelor apartment, no. You know. A room underneath the stairs, that'll rack you up about a grand a month. <laughs> no lie. What are some of the qualities that we enjoyed previously as Canadians? Well, you know, it's kind of like what I said before, you know, back when I was 18 years old, I was making eight fifty an hour and I was able to, I, I mean, I wasn't living on my own, but I could have lived on my own at eight fifty an hour. I could have paid my rent. I would have had food. I would have had extra spending money, you know, back then I didn't have to wait f months to get in with, um, a doctor um back then we we actually had family doctors uh yeah th money went farther um the education system was flawed but it, it's not near as bad as it is today yeah beer was cheap smokes were cheap yeah five bucks for a pack of smokes back then and now it's 20 like yeah, I totally got what you were saying. Yeah, 100 went far for... Even even 10 years ago, dude, you're up. Even, like, 10 years ago. Not even. I want to say about 6 years old. I could get an overflowing cart from Walmart full of food for 200 bucks. You can't do that anymore. You can't do that anymore. Even at Walmart. Two loaves of bread, four bucks, yeah. Makes lots of money for hard labor, snow habit. Oh, that's, that's sad. I'm definitely built for the country life. If, if I could, I would, I'd pack up and move to the country tomorrow. I don't vote anymore, no. Now that I know my vote doesn't actually make a difference, I don't vote anymore. Yeah, you could buy a full cart of groceries for next to nothing. 200 bucks would feed you right proper throughout the month with just having to get odds and ends here and there, like milk, cheese, bread, because those are things you constantly go through. Yeah, McDonald's. M McDonald's used to be cheap. They used to have the dollar menu. like, And now it's what? If you get the double Big Mac, let's say, the bacon one, the new bacon one they got, it's like 17 bucks, you guys. Uh, Douglas, what do you think we're doing here? Douglas, what do you think we're doing here? We're talking about how we can make our country a better place, but you know what? Keep go kissing Trudeau's back end. Ah, stupid people. I haven't eaten... McDonald's in a long time, uh, JR, in a long time, uh, because fast food isn't affordable anymore. That, that was, that was part of the whole fast food thing was it was cheap and it was fast. It ain't cheap. I mean, you're paying the same amount to go to an actual sit down restaurant and have an actual meal. Like, oh, it is literal poison. Yep. But cuh, those cheeseburgers, though, 100% neck. Right now, I currently only have 140. That's supposed to last a month for groceries. I don't even have that right now. Yeah. I'm like something Justin Trudeau would do as a dictator. 
no, you can't afford one acre of our land. Sandy's, that was a real asshole comment. Like, what the hell is your issue? What the hell is your issue? Oh, well, we got some assholes coming out of the woodwork. How does one survive on 140 for groceries? I don't know. What is it they always say? Say thoughts and prayers? Yeah, local farm meat's the best. It really is. You can even taste it in the quality. If you, you buy a beef roast from the store and then make a beef roast from straight from the farm, you can taste it. Yeah, I'm at the same point, dude. Do. And get more people in the room. They send in the trolls, yeah. They need to go. I thought that was random and I'm kind of a jerk. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was an asshole comment. It's called crowd control and limiting common sense, yeah. Ghost casino for their supper, great deals on expensive beef. The food at our casino is expensive. It's expensive, so I'm not sure where that compares to where you are, but where I'm, it's expensive. I want to move to America. America's a dumpster fire right now, too. Move to Norway. Move to Norway or Finland. But bartering should be a thing, yeah. Pierre says buzz, buzzwords. Like, no, he doesn't even have a plan, and you are correct. Central Casino in Edmonton. Oh, I wonder if that's the one my grandparents go to. I know about her. Is that the one that's downtown? Like, right downtown? I've never stepped foot in it. Instead of people coming together and supporting good initiatives, they've divided. Yep. They've have, have us divided. Ooh. On Argyle. Oh, I'm trying to think. It's been s forever since I've been in Edmonton. I'm trying to think of which one that is. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a protest in Ottawa this week, and I haven't heard anything about it. And my cat is throwing up. Awesome. And 75th. Okay. Hmm. Everyone needs to see how bad Justin is messing with our economy, right? Well, it probably means he ate something he wasn't supposed to, which he always does. India doesn't even want to be associated with Canada anymore, right? Make an amazing prime minister on purpose. I haven't told anyone because I promised my dad's wife. Oh, that's kind of awesome. Congratulations. Never hurts to have a step up. A bunch of blow in Justin's plane. I know. Uh, they found the snow. Justin brought a can of the snow with him. <laughs> uh, it's a winter wonderland. <laughs> All evil move from position power. Yeah. But we're at that point in time where we can't work our th thoughts and prayers anymore. We gotta take action. Too high to go to their meeting. He was hiding in the plane. Yeah, like, that's what... Even the media was saying that he didn't even get off the plane, like... Going out in a blizzard. <laughs> Honestly, don't know what I would do. Yeah. Pierre's a snake in the tall grass. He's the other side to the same coin. He's, he plays the right, like, Trudeau plays the left. Cry for absolution. Where's Batman? Her song's on. Why do they always pick the worst time of year to do these protests? Right? That's why we were supposed to have a September one. And it makes me so mad that we didn't, like... 
shot though no uh freeland freeland's evil man the literal definition of the wicked witch of the west she is on the board of trustees for the world economic forum she's the biggest snake in canada right now right in the middle of winter right batman where were you your song is on yeah september 20th Oh, by the way, that prediction that the Antichrist in the world was going to end September 23rd, well, it's now the 30th today, so wrong again. Pat metal. Gotta take the cold. I mean, we were, all, we were built for it. Now it says a winner and elective. He was so smug and total can't. So fucking, I'm so fucking tough, that's right. I'm tough as fuck. Last few months busted for coke. <laughs> yeah, her pri priorities are else elsewhere. And her, her freaking grandfather was a Nazgul. Like, you can't trust that. Did they change it to October now? I can never keep up. Next prediction, October 4th, 5G will be activated. That's the bat metal, bat metal song? Nice. I think I'd like that song. They were lucky no one froze to death. And Well, they, they huddled together. Like, us Canadians, we know how to stay warm. They gotta stop predicting the world's end, right? Fourth or eleventh. That just shows you the resilience and determination and fortitude of Canadians. A hundred percent. Amen. If you vote for his ass, fuck me. <laughs> right? Nobody should be voting for any of these creatures. Year 2000, a.k.a. Y2K. Did you hear some that theory on that, Brisky, that it actually did end, but it wasn't our world, it was a different timeline, and that's when the timelines merged? It's kind of wild, but I like interesting theories like that. Still waiting for a lockdown, yeah. Recall three or four world-ending events, religious prediction in my for Same. Same. The world was even predicted to end in 86 the year I was born. Like, we're still here. From the start. Yeah. That's why you got people who think the heart is in the left of the body when really it's in the center of the body. That's why you got people... Swamp rants. Yeah, drain the swamp. Nothing ends this year. Unless you're that guy's wife. Y2K, end of tech. Oh, no. Right. Um, that's the whole Mandela effect way. Half the population thinks he died in prison. The other half think he was president. You know, the, it's because two, two timelines merged. And we're all going to reset to the year 1900, yeah. Not all Sikhs love Trudeau. That's a lie. I was always told wrong about the heart. I was pointed to the middle. Yeah, see, and that's that's the thing because I was always taught it was in the left, like basically underneath uh, your left chest, your left breast is. That's that's where your heart is. No, it's in the center of your fucking chest. It's like what the hell? When did that happen? Messy Marvin. No, I don't. We're just living out our death, yeah. Liberal Party of Canada have protected and supported Antifa, yeah. Center left, one lung has a big divot. Yeah, and see when, how we were raised, it was always like left left though. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. It, it's weird, it's weird. Yeah, find a way to force these new COVID shots on people. Maybe an actual pandemic, right? They open me up on my right side. Uh, some people are born with hearts on the right. It's a, I don't know, genetic thing. Yeah, USSR for real government in Canada is literally the USSR, yeah.
We're going down a very dark path, you guys. Very dark path. People don't believe in rabbit holes? Well, best start believing because you're in one. <sighs> yeah, Castro. That's why I keep saying send him back to Cuba. That are more center, right? McDonald, that's, that's something we talk a lot about here is, is centrist. Like, I'm a centrist. I know there's a middle ground to be found in absolutely everything. People like me can't run for anything because, one, well, we don't have the money backing us. And number two, um, we would be JFK'd faster than JFK was. Yeah, I think it's almost time for Gothwater here, too. Liar hurt us, right? Never my government. Our go government would never. They have our best interests at heart. It would never happen in my lifetime. That's the same thing they told themselves in World War II, and look what happened. They admitted to using propaganda, right? Fight to make their people poor. I didn't believe it in my kingdoms until I found out. Yeah, huge rabbit holes. Wait till you hit the bottom of the rabbit hole that I went to, and you're going to be destroyed for the rest of your life. Like, literally, I don't sleep anymore, you guys. I don't sleep anymore. You can be a drama teacher, then country leader in less than five years, yo. <laughs> oh, shit. You can be deputy prime minister and and have a whole bunch of other titles by only being a journalist. TikTok people are TikTok people so no educated. Man, speak pop proper gam grammar and then try that again, bud. Try it again. Me XOXOXO. Try that again. We need more whistleblowers. Con leading libertarian. We need con give us a few years to elect a new party. Well, that's kind of why I told people we should be voting for Daniel Smith because she might turn on us yet, but she bought us time. Skull. Um, she bought us time. Now, if Notley had been voted in, we would have been out of time, and Alberta would be so fucked right now. Trudeau would own us. He would be wiping our his ass with us. Like, voting for Daniel was a gameplay to buy us more time. Yeah, but not a Trudeau supporter. Our country has been run by a drama teacher and a journalist. Literally, literally brisky. Our country is run by a drama teacher, a failed drama teacher at that, and a journalist. It's hard balance to sell to any government, yeah. Yeah, people are finally starting to see how much the government is playing both sides. So yeah, it's part of hurt control though oh ouch 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 <gasps> crane is run by a coke loving comedian right he's just finishing off what his father started right take care go so uh take care soul survivor you have a good one more tax money the government controls for social systems less freedom they want yeah Oh, I actually got to run here in a minute, too, so. If you guys have anything you want to get out, let's get it out, because I got to run for a bit. Tom McDonald's stuck in my head. <laughs> Tom McDonald's awesome. Behind every antichrist and communist, a failed dictator, dictator hiding inside. Damn, that's deep. I love that. I'm coming back, but on my other profile, because we'll do some religious talk. Break away from the politics. 
Folks, Team Pepsi or Coca-Cola is still poisonous soda, 100%. Any some good ones on important topics? Miscellany, yeah, that's that's deep. That's deep. Oh, anarchist. Sorry, I thought that said antichrist for some reason. This is the part <laughs> I said I don't wanna. <laughs> Yeah, you guys all have a good one. Castrolini. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be on tomorrow, actually. I got some shit to do today.